Uh, well, it is not my own perception. I said the perception. So uh, that's my English, the perception. My and whether or not, uh, if you take it or not, it is a perception. Uh, and you still not no, answer no, no. my question, Chief Anikawade. What kind of character do you think your party needs for the chairmanship seat, especially in the face of the perception that it is in the public life? Let me go back to this issue of perception again. That is your interpretation of their perception. And you're making it sound as if it is actually their perception. I reject that, and I don't accept that. But well, let's come to your main question then, the issue of the type of character that we need. We need a forceful character, a strong-willed character, a strong man that will stand up against the tyranny of this government, somebody that will not renege, somebody that will not betray trust, somebody that will not cower and tremble before the federal government or the APC, and somebody that's ready to come out and commit everything to the cause of this country and to the cause of the PDP. We don't want a compromiser. We don't want a weak man. We don't need such a person. This time around, we need somebody that's totally committed and dedicated to ensuring that we win at the polls. And we also need somebody that will stand up for those that have been persecuted in this country, those that have been maligned, those that are you know, designated as being the weaker in society, that have nobody to stand up for them. We need somebody that's the voice of the voiceless and somebody that will go forward in battle to ensure that these bullies are swept out of office. That's the kind of leader that we need. We have very many eminently qualified people who have expressed an interest within, this, within the party from the Southwest uh, uh, that, that, are, that, that, that meet up to all those uh, categorizations. But in my view, as I've said earlier, I believe that I, I'm backing the right man. Others may have different candidates, but all of them have these, the, these qualities that I believe that our party needs. Courage, strength, and the ability to stand firm, even in the face of persecution. And right. also the uh, maybe, resolve... Maybe we if, should anchor yeah, on this let me, question, let me, let me, Chief Anikaudi. Uh, maybe we should anchor on this question. My ears are to the ground as a political journalist. I, I must tell you authoritatively that there are a lot of... Uh, talks on the side over these, uh, uh, the coming election in December. And the same issue that bedeviled your party leadership in 2015 is perhaps replaying itself and some of the complaints by the chieftains and leaders of the party about the roles of some governors of your party, about what they call imposition and overbearing nature is still playing itself again. That's what we hear. Yeah, well, I mean... You know, there, there are various groups within the party. The PDP is led by a number of caucuses within the party. There's the, governor, there's the Governor's Forum, there's the National Assembly Forum, there's the Former Minister's uh, Forum, there's also the PDP Board of Trustees and a number of others. And uh, each and every one of these forums and groups and caucuses uh, take positions on issues. The Governor's Forum is just one of them. And of course, you know very well that, uh, that uh, no group can impose its will on the party, at least as it stands today. We've learned from our mistakes in the past, and neither do I believe that the governors have any such thing in mind. We are working closely together now. Despite the, um, the wishes and the assertions of our detractors, uh, we are working closely with the governors, we're working with all the other caucus groups, and I, as a member of the former minister's forum, am very proud of the fact that all these various caucuses can come together and take a decision based on consensus. We're also being well led, I believe, by President uh, John, uh, Jonathan, who has uh, you know, uh -huh. somehow emerged as the, as, the, as the bridge builder amongst the various groups within the party, okay. and who has done exceptionally well. Uh, um, so I'm very I, confident. I, I, I'm afraid yes. we, we, we need to anchor on, at this point. And uh, thank you so much for your thoughts tonight on the program. We'll get talking more on these issues perhaps in the days to come as we look forward to PDP electing its own leadership in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for being part of the show, everyone. I'm Sean Akimale. Bye for now.